<clears throat> What's going on, uh, bros? Um, welcome to a, uh, kind of, not impromptu, I've been playing this kind of for a while, but this is the, uh, the, f the yeah, this is when it's happening, because you already see the video and it's already uploaded, so you don't need to think about it beyond that. Okay, um, this is a q and uh, I'm between videos right now. The first question is, uh, one from probably most people. And it's, uh, what are you doing right now? Where are you? What happened? Who murdered you? Um, uh, the answer to all of which is, uh, so, um, I'm working on a much bigger video right now. If you've followed me on social media or, like, seen my YouTube posts, you'd know what's going on. But if you don't, um, I'm working on a much bigger video right now. Kind of a passion project one. That's, uh, it's not TF2, but it will be a big one. It's one that I'm putting a lot of effort into, trying to make it as good as it can be, so that's, uh, it's taking a while. I'm, I'm trying to make it really good, and I'm trying to make it a, uh, something to kind of refresh myself on TF2, because I, uh, I've made pretty much TF2 videos straight for a few months now. Well, I guess, like, not for the last month, but you get what I mean. And, uh, my last video got kind of owned by the algorithm, I think, or maybe it just sucked, I don't know. But it, it did way worse than normal, and it's not, it's not like a pity party thing, that's just explaining why I, I'm doing what I'm doing. And because of the video's poor performance, I was like, eh, I don't feel too motivated right now, I think I'll do something else. And I also started a new job at the same time as that, so I gave myself a little bit of a break, and I decided I don't really feel ready for TF2 stuff again, like I don't feel into it, so instead I'm going to do a bit of a passion project video of mine to kind of give myself a different kind of break and then once that's done I'm gonna return to TF2 stuff because I already have some ideas again so look forward to that and the new videos soon so that's um ah excuse me I am recording this fully live I'm not gonna cut much out except for uh any long silences and um for some reason my voice is really tired today like it feels like my the thing in my body that makes my voice feels tired, and I don't know how that works, but that's what it feels like. So, um, yeah, I'm doing that. Uh, alright, and the first actual, actual question, um, is from Aquadu, a very, very generous tier 3 member of my Patreon.com, um, web service, website, GeoCities site. Thank you, Aquadu, cool guy. Stops by my stream here and there. What's going on, man? Um, Alright, their first question is, uh, how did you originally find TF2 and what made you want to stick with it? Um, I originally found it in February 2014, uh, mainly through, like, Gmod videos and stuff. Like, stupid animations where random shit happens, like those, those, you know the ones. I don't know why I'm saying this as if it's like a niche thing. Gmod animations are such a huge part of TF2, but yeah, I watched a bunch of those, a lot of SFM stuff, and, um, I thought it was very cool looking, so I, I played the game, and, uh, I played the game! I played the game, and it was pretty goddamn cool. It was very addictive. I remember the idea of getting new items was so fun and trying out all the different classes and stuff. And, uh, I don't know, kind of a boring answer. <laughs> it's probably one that a lot of people have, but I don't know, it's how it's been for me. I found, like, communities on there, especially, like, a death run community. I got really involved with, made a bunch of friends there that I still have today. Y'all know who you are. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's kind of how I stuck with it. And their second question is, do you ever plan to revisit the idea of making a Discord? I don't have plans to revisit it, but it's not off the table. There, The two main reasons I don't want to do it is for one, I don't like moderating Discord servers, and even if there are people who would kindly volunteer to moderate it, um, I would feel a strong, constant urge to just do it myself. And that's not to be like, I don't trust other people to do it, but just like, if it's my Discord, I will feel the need to check, like, everything on that server constantly and make sure it's running fine. Like, I, and I don't want to have to do that all the time. And secondly, I like to kind of keep my quote-unquote community be more decentralized, I guess? That sounds like a weird way to, like, a weird, like, that sounds like a political way to put it. But I, I'm more just like having a vague community rather than, like, this is the place where you go if you're a Durbel fan or you talk about Durbel stuff or, like, 
having a specific place where people follow me, like... Twitter and stuff is fine, because it's, it's... the kind of interaction there is more removed. I don't like... Cult of Personality kind of stuff. That's, and that's not to say all Discords are like that, but I, I just like staying as far away from it as I can. I prefer, like, comment sections or, like, replying to me on Twitter or DMing me on Twitter if you really have a question is what, like, my interaction is. And that's not because I don't want to interact with the community. Obviously, it's, it's more like I don't want unhealthy things forming in it because it's a very common thing nowadays. I'm sure you can... Uh, Think of a certain Minecraft, uh, nah, it's a bit too specific. You can think of a certain, a few certain people <laughs> who you could think of that have unhealthy fan bases, and my goal is to just kind of try to stay away from that and help set an example as a very healthy community. Maybe, like, I'll make, like, a subreddit one day or something, because, you know, haha Reddit, but it seems like a decent place if I want any kind of a more centralized general community hub rather than a discord but uh yeah right now i don't plan on revisiting it but it's not off the table it's definitely not impossible it's just right now i don't think i will but i will definitely update posts about it if there is any updates so uh follow me on twitter please i need to get twitter followers all right um let's see here next question this the uh, next few ones are from twitter uh any other interest or sorry uh, Alpine on Twitter asks, are there any other interests you have, like music or drawing, or any other games that you enjoy that aren't TF2 or Pokemon? Um, other interests? Uh, streaming is really fun. Which is... No, that's, that's gaming. Other than gaming. Um, I like taking walks. Walks are fucking cool. You should take walks if you can, and if you can't, then damn, that sucks. But if you can, do it. Walks are really relaxing. It's like a form of meditation at this point for me. It's such a, it's really good as a creator because it, it lets me, it gives me really good time to just think about stuff. I mean, think about anything really, not just like video ideas, but just like anything going on in your life. It gives you a good time to reflect on it while still doing something. It's not like just sitting in bed, staring at the ceiling like, oh God, I don't want to go to work tomorrow or whatever. Like you're, you're doing something, especially if it's like nice and sunny outside. Like that's a, that's a real good mood booster. Uh, so yeah, I like taking walks, um, I do some, I, I don't want to call myself a photographer, I, I like taking pictures and I have a fancy camera, kind of, but I'm not very good at it, I just kind of do it when I'm able to, so, uh, I, I'm interested in it, I would really love to pursue it more, but I'm just not very good at it yet, so, <laughs> um, other interests, other interests, I'm not too sure, I used to do gymnastics a lot, uh, back from senior year in high school before, like I started when I was four <laughs> and I stopped doing it in senior year in high school a few years back. So I did it for like 14 years straight and it was really cool, a great sport. I recommend it. Um, and any other games that I enjoy, uh, Terraria, I'm doing a Terraria playthrough right now, first time with Calamity, uh, very fun. I love Terraria. Uh, Minecraft, that's a given. Hollow Knight, VVV, VVV. Uh, Yume Niki and Yume Tuki, especially the latter. I love Yume Tuki, it's one of my favorite games on the planet. Um, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Uh, so th there's a lot of games that I like, but I'd say the ones that I consistently play are like Terraria, Minecraft, Yume Tuki, Mario Kart Wii, that's a huge one, Smash Melee. Those are the ones that I consistently play, I'd say. Or at least consistently participate in. And uh, one shot, particularly speedrunning it. All right, next question is from Shadio. Shadio was taken on Twitter. On a scale of one to ten, how much agony does recording your voice put you in? Uh, nine. Nine if I'm reading a script, and a five if I'm not. Like right now, I'm not reading a script. It feels good to talk like a human. Like I, I, I know this video is going to be really unstructured, and I'm going to have a lot of like stops and whatevers, but. I kind of like that. It feels way more natural compared to like the the spice spicicle is it has a stat of like I, I I hate reading scripts. Obviously, you have to do it for videos, but I hate how I sound compared to how I normally sound when I'm reading scripts or when I'm not reading scripts. All right, uh, 
Next up from the shit on Twitter. <laughs> Who's your second favorite class? Who is my least favorite class? And what's my favorite weapon for each class? My favorite weapon for all classes is the Conscientious Objector, because signs are based. Um, my least favorite class to fight is Pyro. My least favorite class to play is probably Heavy or Engineer. But I'm not sure between the two. My second favorite class is either Scout or Soldier to play. I I kind of flip flop between them. I, I'm technically a Scout main in a lot of ways. I'm only really a Spy main in pubs, but for any competitive purpose, I'm a Spy main or a Scout main. So, yeah. Um, next question from Mysif uh, or Mysif. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I'm sorry. Um, they ask if I have a favorite type of music and which TF2 taunt is the best. Uh, which the best taunt is the engineer's default shotgun taunt, note bar none. And my favorite type of music, I listen to every single kind of music, which is a really stupid and common answer, but it's just kind of the truth. But if there were a single genre that I could listen to constantly, it would be like lo-fi hip-hop probably. Yeah, like generic sad boy vibes, but I don't know, it's, it's, it's like the only genre that like almost every song I listen to is probably pretty good. Like, I like some hip-hop songs, I like some rap songs, I like some metal, some electronic, some dubstep, whatever the hell. Almost every genre, there's a lot of songs that I like, but rarely do I consistently like them from a genre, or even an artist. I, I rarely ever, like, listen to albums or anything. I, I, like, I'll find one song that I really love, and I'll be like, whoa, this album must be great, and I'll listen to the rest of it, and it's just like, eh. It's okay, and that's often the case with artists as a whole, honestly, for me. So, if there were a single type of music that I liked the most, it's uh, lo-fi hip-hop, I guess. Alright, next, uh, Poggy Soggy asks, is ketchup tomato smoothies? Uh, I ask, can you stay away from me and don't ask me that ever again? Uh, but the answer is no. Um, <laughs> next up is uh, from Pancake. Uh, besides the big four of the Scorch Shot, Natasha, Vaccinator, and Homewrecker, what weapon do you think needs a rework the most and why? Um, that's honestly really hard to say. I think the YER is the most obvious one to rework, and not even really rework, just get rid of, um, the Cloak Drain penalty, please. <laughs> that's the stupidest stat on the planet. Um, I'd say the Volcano Fragment, though. I'd say it's the only weapon in the game that literally doesn't have a use whatsoever. There is no valid reason to ever use that weapon in any situation other than trolling. Kind of a boring answer, but I'd say that's the only one I feel too strongly about, honestly. Other than that, like, I, I don't know, maybe the Natasha. Oh, that's already mentioned in the big four. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, the, the Volcano Fragment, it sucks. Alright, next up, The Better Beal asks, uh, what's my favorite song, and what's my favorite song from TF2? Uh, my favorite TF2 song is Rocket Jump Waltz, and one of the greatest tragedies of anything ever is the fact that Rocket Jump Waltz isn't even a minute long. That's horrible, because of how amazing it is. Um, and my favorite song, I'm not sure. Uh, there are a few songs I like a lot. Some notable ones being, um... There's We Go On by the uh, the Avalanches, that's really good. There's Money by the Drums, there is... Uh, out of Touch, like Out of Touch Thursday, Out of Touch, that one, that's pretty good. Um, my favorite video game song from any, any game ever is uh, 11th Hour from One Shot. But in terms of non-video game song, I'm honestly not sure which one would be my favorite. May probably one of the three that I just listed. But maybe not, I'm probably forgetting some. But like I said, I like tons of different genres, and oftentimes it depends on my mood, what I want to listen to, so I can't say there's a single song that is my favorite, but those are some really good ones. Alright, next up, uh, ipi 4 fun asks how, and I ask why. And next on Twitter from Lappy asks, what made you start us, uh, man? I had like, I felt like I had to burp, but I didn't. It's like when you have to sneeze, but you're not sure, so you like open your mouth and you're just like, ah. And then you just look like a fucking moron. And people are like, are you a psychopath? And I'm just like, no, I'm a human and I had to sneeze, you goofy ass. 
All right, uh, Lappy asks, what made you start mating Spy? Uh, the best answer is just Stabby Stabby, his videos. I watched them and I'm just like, that's so fucking cool, I want to do that. And that's what I did. I mean, honestly, that's, that's, that's kind of it. <laughs> it's, it's pretty much just that simple. I love trick stabbing, I love the idea of outplaying an enemy when I'm all the cards are against me. Like, Spy sucks, he's garbage, the worst class in the game, and I kind of like that because Every single kill you get is an underdog win in a way, especially trick stabs. Like the like outplaying like a fully healed soldier who has like four unusuals and a original with ten gorillion kills on it. Oh, that that shit's nut worthy. <laughs> that shit's awesome. All right. Um. Next, Mr. Fly High asks, "How confident in, are you in your future pursuits?" And are you happy with where you are right now? And do you have any motivations to become bigger? Um, I'd say I'm pretty confident in my future pursuits, like in terms of my channel and stuff. I just have to do it consistently. I feel like I have a tons of good ideas and I feel like I'm capable of executing them decently well. So I'd say I'm pretty confident in myself, just in general. Um, and I'd, I'd say I'm definitely very happy with it, how I am now, but not in a content way. Like not like in like, yeah, I'm good just sitting here, you know? Like, I, I definitely want to grow a lot. Not like ninja size, but you know. I, I, I'll i say, within reason, there's no limit to how big I want to be. It's it's just like, I, I want to grow as big as I can, I guess. Which is probably not ninja tier. I'd say if I see a limit to my channel, it's probably somewhere around like... A million subs or so, which is obviously a big goal, but... I couldn't see myself ever going beyond that, even if I really did my best. Or maybe I would, I don't know. It's, it's impossible to say, but yeah, I, I don't have any limits as to how far I want to go, but I am still very happy with where I am now. Just not like content. Like I, I want to get bigger. I want to keep doing, I want to keep growing and stuff. Which is a given, but yeah. And they also say uh, good luck with stuff, and I appreciate that, Mr. Fly High. Thank you. All right, next up. Ah, uh, let me reposition myself a little bit. I'm sitting under a blanket on a couch right now to get good audio and it's maybe working I don't know how this sounds and I'll find out after this recording and if it all sounds garbage then I'm gonna have to do this again so that'll be fun all right next uh, Asika on YouTube asks what's my favorite youtuber um, I'll list some of my favorites um, I love Scott the Waz he's a fucking comedy genius and easily one of the greatest youtubers on the on the site. Um, I like Funk a lot. Uncle Dane, they're pretty good. Um, there's a new channel I kind of found. Or not new, but a channel that I found recently called uh, Daryl Talks Games. I really recommend their stuff. They make really fascinating video essays and they kind of inspired actually my video that I'm working on right now, my big project. So uh, yeah, but definitely recommend checking them out and all the others I mentioned. Um, Vsauce, God bless Michael Stevens, uh, kind of a given. Um, there's probably more. If there's any like giant ones that I missed, like ones that I really love that I missed, I'll put them on screen. Um, next up, v Vina Wartmander asks top 10 films, top 10 video, and top 10s, top 10 albums. Um, I don't listen to albums, so I don't have an answer for the albums, unfortunately. Uh, some films, and I'll include like shows in anime here. Uh, some of my favorite movies, um, this is a very heavy movie, weird to mention casually, it's a very heavy movie with some very intense themes, but it's really good. Um, American History X, that is a fantastic film that I recommend you watch if you're uh, interested in that kind of thing or want a really big perspective on something really important. But again, it's very heavy and quite violent, so, uh, you know, be ready. <laughs> um, what other movies do I like? Well, some shows first, uh, Breaking Bad is fucking fantastic, goes without saying, but if you haven't watched it, just 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 bite the bullet, just do it. It's it's the only show on the planet that I know of that is just consistently so good, constantly throughout the entire show. It, it never, it, there's no downsides. I can't think of a problem with the series whatsoever. Um, I watched Avatar The Last Airbender recently, also fantastic show. Not nearly as flawless as Breaking Bad, but I, I liked that a lot more in some ways. The characters are all great, it's it's a fun watch, it's a great, great show, Avatar, definitely watch that. Um, let me think, uh, 
I've only watched one anime, One Punch Man, that's a fun one. I can recommend that. There's definitely some more stuff that I can think of. Oh, right, right, I, I wrote I wrote them down kind of somewhere, hang on. Okay, yeah, so some more movies I like a lot. I like Drive. Drive is a very good movie. Uh, Get Out, great movie. I watched uh, The Emperor's New Groove for the first time recently. Fantastic, great humor. Uh, Citizen Kane goes without saying, I guess. It's it's literally a, a adjective to describe something that's near perfect. Um, Holes is a fun movie. Uh, SpongeBob movie, also kind of a given, I guess. I don't know. Uh, some weird choices. All a lot of them are kind of cop outs, but I don't know. These are movies that I like. Um, and they also ask what games I really love. Uh, I've already listed a lot of them. Uh, Hollow Knight, Team Fortress 2, Minecraft, Thousand Your Door, VVV, VVV, Smash Melee, One Shot. Uh, there's Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I didn't mention that one. Fantastic. Uh, Super Mario World, Pokemon X in particular. I love Gen 6. It's my favorite generation. You can shoot me if you want, but you won't win because you'll go to jail. So don't do that. Um, Hell on Miami, great game. Yoshi's Island, uh, the only game on the planet that I think could be argued to be perfect. Um, and the Zero Escape series, actually. I played I played through that recently, and it's very fun if you're a uh, visual novel mystery kind of guy, which I guess I am. I didn't know that before I played that series, but yeah, it's pretty fun. All right, next up from Mr. Mutant, they ask, what's my favorite color? Uh, yellow. I like the color yellow. It's a boring... It it's not a boring answer. Actually, I think it's pretty rare. A lot of people don't like yellow, but I do. I like it a lot. And, and like blue. Like an aqua blue. Alright, next from Dore Games, they ask, What's my favorite trick stab? Uh, the stair stab. It's inconsistent and you shouldn't really ever do it, unless if you're 100% sure it's going to work. But when it lands, it's so hard to land properly that it feels even better when it does land. But I also love, um... I mean, I love all trick stabs. I, I, don't, I don't dislike any of them. If anything, I dislike stair stabs also because they're so inconsistent and terrible, but when you do hit them, oh my god. <laughs> Nothing feels better. Alright, and um... The final question, I'm gonna end on a bit of a tough one. Uh, my thoughts on oatmeal raisin cookies. From Lappy, again. Um, I don't like oatmeal. Well, I, I don't think I do. And I like raisins, so uh... Yeah, you, you kind of a kind of a downer last question. I'm not a fan. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a, I'm a I'm a I'm a burger guy. I'm a burger man. If you if you like burgers, then I like I like you. And that's about that's about as simple as it gets, you know. Yeah, uh, I guess that's all the questions. I'll, I'm, I feel I had like a, a good answer to, or at least didn't already answer in a previously asked question. So it should be it for today. Again, look forward to a. Uh, my new video at some point in the coming weeks i'm again I, I i'm not like constantly i'd be lying if i said i'm grinding it out like there's a lot of time where i'm just not working on it but for one a lot of the time is spent working because like i mentioned i got a new job and i'm also just trying to give myself time to just do stuff like take walks or whatnot i'm not trying to just burn myself out but i'm also really making sure that i only proceed with it when i'm ready to or not when I'm ready to, but when I have a good idea. I don't want to just grind anything out and put out something that I'm not 100% satisfied with. Like, I want this video to be my magnum opus, bar none. I want every single aspect of this video to be something I am happy with. Which can't really be said for any of my other videos so far. Not to say that I don't like them, because I definitely do dislike some of them. <laughs> the 2 for video. Uh, garbage. Not garbage. I don't like it, but whatever. You get what I mean. Like, all my videos so far have been pretty good, but I really want to put something out that I'm super proud of and I can, like, point to and say, look what I can do. But, um, yeah, I do that. I am also streaming. Uh, not decently often, but here and there, I stream a lot of TF2 whenever I do stream. Definitely stop by. It's a fun time. Got a lot of cool folks who drop by. You can learn some stuff. As a lot of other people who drop by know a lot more about TF2 than I do. Um, so, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, it's a big thing, uh, I need more Twitter followers so I can get sponsored by, like, Twitter.com and they can give me money for existing, that'd be pretty cool, and, uh, yeah, so I look forward to the next video eventually, and I appreciate your patience, a big, actually, yeah, I should, I should probably dedicate more time to this, I really appreciate the patience with stuff, my channel's still been steadily, like, 
chugging along like it's still getting views people are still subbing new people are still finding the channel and if you're if you are one of those people or even if you aren't appreciate the support a fuck ton um i'm swearing a lot i hope ads are fine um but yeah that 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 should be pretty much everything i really appreciate the support again um look forward to stuff follow me on my social medias or else i'm gonna attack you in real life that is a joke youtube ad Video over. Yeet dab.